Now, this question asks us to find a coupon rate for a bond. And so here we have a price, we have a par value, we have a discount rate, which is a yield to maturity, and we know how many coupon payments there are. Uh, just as a quick reminder, what is the coupon rate? So to find the coupon rate, we need the annual coupon amount. And we're going to divide that by par value. And so the first thing we're going to find is this right here, the annual coupon amount. All right, so let's uh, create a timeline for this bond. Okay, first of all, we see there's 17 years remaining until maturity and semi-annual payments. And so that means we need to create a semi-annual timeline with 17 times two is 34 ticks. We're gonna have some unknown payment amount here for our annuity payment. And then the remainder of the information is as follows. We know that there is a $1,000 repayment at maturity. We know that the yield to maturity is 7.6%. So the semi-annual R is half of that or 3.8%. And then we have a price or a present value in this case of $922. Okay, so we can solve for the payment in our financial calculator. And to do that, uh, we need to figure out our inputs. So $1,000 is FV, 922 is PV, 34 is N, and I is 3.8. So let's check our signs now. Let's think about this from the perspective of the bond investor. So the par repayment is going to be positive as is the payment that we saw for. The PV uh, would be something that the investor pays for the bond. And so that will be a negative number. All right, let's go to our financial calculator and see if we can find this payment. $1,000 is FV. 922, give it a negative sign. That's PV. 3.8 eight goes into i and 34 goes into n compute payment and there i have payment so payment is 33.8754 so I've, I've 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 now solved for this number all right so now let's go back here what do i need the annual coupon amount so the annual coupon amount is just twice the payment so I'm going to take that number right there and say times two. There's the annual coupon amount. And now to convert that to a coupon rate, I simply need to scale that by par value. So I'll divide that by a thousand. Thousand dollars is par value. And there's my answer. 3.8.